tired, dude. Alright, I'm back. The, uh, I ain't sleeping. I had to go to the bar and get me a soda and some more chips. But we are back. Uh, the winner of this match uh, would compete against Justin Bergman in the finals.
All right, I got my bag of chips down me. I didn't want to be chopping in y'all's ear. We got a uh, two to one game here. This is a race to nine as it is the one lost side. We still got a few viewers hanging on with us and we appreciate that. I got a little rub air and got him a okay shot. Um, whoever wins this would have to, the first race against Just, Justin would be a race to 11. And if they would happen to win that, the second race would be a race to nine. Couldn't get much better. Uh, Robert, I'm originally from a small town in Illinois called Mount Carmel, uh, but I relocated to Evansville, Indiana, which is about uh, 45 miles from Mount Carmel uh, for, uh, for a position with a different company. I've been in uh, Evansville for about three and a half years now, but of course that's where I always kind of hung out at uh, growing up. What much in my small town. Uh, Britton talking about Justin Bergman. He's in the hot seat. Uh, waiting. He uh, he defeated uh, Devin Petit uh, 11 to 4 to advance to the hot seat. Yeah, there's no way Devin's just going to lay down here. He's been playing too solid all day long. And, um, you know, when he played Bergman, he really didn't have much opportunity to shoot. Uh, it's my understanding that if Devin would w happen to win this, um, him and Justin are going to make some kind of deal and go home. Uh, but if Gabe wins, I believe that Justin plans on uh, playing it.
Well, this is a tester shot because he's got to put a stroke on it to get the cue ball back around it. Well, I don't know if he can get around the three ball. See, it looked like he was tr tr trying to draw to make that seven, and he was trying. And uh, boy, he got a he got a heck of a roll off of it. Gabe is going to uh, take quick advantage of this uh, of this rack. He paid a good safety and got rewarded for it. Kind of seen that there coming. Well, folks, uh, we have a match for sure. It's uh, three to two, Devin. Uh, started out two to zero, so he's won the last three games. Yeah, I can't really tell if the three ball passes by the eight. <laughs> he gonna travel, th oh, he's gonna try to travel three rows around, get on the two and break the three, but he didn't get it, but he got a row. We have a viewing audience, but they've got a little quiet on us. Yeah, I've done my share of yawning myself here, Brian. Looks like he can make the one. I don't know if he'll get too crazy or just kind of pull the cue ball back a little bit, shoot the two, and break the three. But that's what he's doing. Of 
we're spinning in with this lift. It's a, uh, it's a tester whether you got a shot or not. Well, when you, uh, he hit it pretty good. He's got. <clears throat> I just had just a plain old bag of Lay's chips just a few minutes ago. Uh, it got a little rough on that. Well, good morning, Mr. Wheeler. How's life in Petersburg? Nice shot there from uh, Devin to advance to four to two. Devin got a couple rows in that match. He, uh, missed a shot, kind of got away with it, and come back and miss another shot and got away with it. But he's uh, making the balls when they count, and uh, he's uh, he's the leader on the scoreboard right now. So. I guess that's all that matters. Uh, Britain, uh, no, they decided uh, that they didn't care where the two ball was at. Well, the cue ball is running around the table with the one ball. And No clear shot. He's either gonna he's got a bank shot or or he's gonna play a safety. Or he could carry him and make the seven. He out for a safety shot. Ah, a little two way shot, good shot. He'd like to bank that cube two ball, two rails. But now he's looking at a cut. Yeah, I figured he'd like to bank it two rails and stop the cue ball pretty much where it's at, the two ball's at. Just don't know if he can get by that eight ball. I just make it easier. Yeah, I don't know if you can get by the eight or not. Well, he made a uh, combination, but uh, it's like, oh, he didn't scratch, but uh, he's pretty deep in the pocket. Yeah, Jolly, I agree. I'd like to see some uh, generalization of some rules where it's always all played the same, but I don't think it ever happened. Uh, not at not at this level for sure, because uh, whoever runs a tournament can choose whatever they want. Mm, 
fun day for you, Jim. Yeah, the viewers are picking back up. Uh, you know, we had to change the stream out. I'm impressed that we are, we're pushing a number with 100 uh, here at 3.30 in the morning, 20 till 4. Yeah, Devin plays good. He's uh, he, he shoots fast and he shoots fearless. He plays good. Ball don't go on too many tables. <laughs> yeah, Robert, you're an hour ahead there in uh, Knoxville. 338 here in Benton. Yeah, Kyle, the payout for the first for uh, both uh, is uh, right at 2400 Or 20. Or not 2,400, sorry. Uh, right at 4,000, 2,400, 2,300 for second. Well, we ain't seen a lot of that lately, dry breaks. Uh, balls have been falling on the breaks, no problem. I don't know if he can squeeze between that six and three and come off the rail and make the one, but if he does, he still ain't gonna have much on the two. So Devin pushes to a kick shot. I, uh, well, I don't hardly see Gabe giving this back, but he might. Uh, just as goes sh goes to show, the guy's six foot four, and he's putting an extension on his stick. <coughs> It'll go away. Uh, yes, Jolly, uh, on cue is based out of Evansville. <clears throat> That's a good shot there. I didn't figure he would give that shot back.
Well, pretty good looking table here for uh, Gabe. Uh, good opportunity to tie this match up at 4 4, but it is um, 3 40 in the morning. These guys have been playing since about 1 o'clock, so uh, I'm sure uh, they're tired and fatigued, so we'll see some stuff here off and on that would be, uh, we wouldn't expect to happen. Won't get too crazy here. He'll just come down to back to the middle of the table. And well, I was surprised he went down that close, taking a risk to get behind that nine ball, but he actually hit it really good. Jolly, I appreciate that. A lot of people would think he would give him this shot, but this is the kind of shot that would slide on a guy, and yeah, so uh, typically don't give a shot like that. We got a 4-4 match. We definitely have a grind here. See what this ends up at. I'm definitely not rooting against Gabe or rooting against uh, Devin, but uh, Devin winning would put me home earlier. <laughs> Well, he uh, breaks and pockets the one, two, and three, didn't he? Got a got to start out with a combination into the four, eight. And he hits it just fine. Yeah, this, uh, you know, 4-4 semifinals, you know, these guys, uh, you know, these guys play well. Shoot the sixth ball and stun the cue ball straight over with a seven to the side. Stop that ball for the nine. Pretty easy. Takes his lead back. He started with the lead, and then Devin took the lead, and now uh, Gabe's got it back. Boy, Dave, I wish I was off tomorrow, but that's not the case. Well, 
Well, the same guy broke last game and made three on the break. Was a wide open out pretty much, and uh, now break dry. Uh, Zach, uh, what do you mean? Is this a ship? You know, uh, Richard, it's hard telling. Uh, you know, everybody likes uh, different preference of tips. A lot of the pros seem to like a harder tip. Oh, I see, uh, Zach. Uh, no, this is the semifinals. Uh, Justin Bergman's waiting in the hot seat uh, to play the uh, winner of this. I would assume Devin's going to attempt to pull back and move at eight ball here. And he did just that. Yeah, Dave, you're right today, but yeah, no, I'll be, uh, once I get done here, of course, you know, I got about an hour and 45 minute drive home and I'll take a shower, get dressed and uh, be working. Justin Bergman sitting in the hot seat. He uh, he defeated uh, Devin uh, for the hot seat match. Well, you know, I I prefer a soft tip. Um, I don't know. I uh, I find myself miscuing or miss hitting the ball um, if I have a harder tip. And I, I don't know that all pros prefer using a hard tip, but a lot that I've talked to have uh, have told me they do. And we got a 5-5 match. We... Uh, I didn't expect it to go this late, but also I'm not the kind of guy that not see something too. I've had some dedicated viewers all throughout the day, and some of these guys are stuck around. And uh, as long as they're playing, uh, I'm going to be streaming. Um, Hennessy lost his final match to Gabe Owen, nine to four. Gabe had him down eight to one and uh, had a uh, four ball out pretty easy and uh, he, he rode up behind a five ball or nine ball for the five ball and 
Hennessy got that rack, and then he got the next two, but then Gabe closed out. High in the 13th rack. <laughs> you know, Victor, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Hey, uh, you guys are welcome. Uh, we're, uh, you know, we try to stream as much as we can, and uh, I know a lot of the streams out there cost quite a bit of money. Uh, you know, the watch we, um, you know, we stream for free. We rely on sponsorship uh, to allow us to do that. And the more viewers we grow, and the more likes we get to our page, the uh, more likability we have to pick up sponsors to allow us to continue streaming. You know, we run a lot of uh, tournaments in Evansville, too, uh, where we live at. And, uh, you know, it's players of all handicaps that play in it. We always run a stream there. It's uh, it's nice uh, for those players to get themselves uh, on a stream table. It ain't every day that they get to play like this in front of a live audience. Uh, Uh, Gabe really, or uh, Devin really pulled off a good safety there. I tell you, it's it's really tough to hide these guys at this level. They uh, they know these angles, these rails so well. They you know whether they're kicking one rail or four rails, they find ways to hit the ball. I was wondering if it was going to get there for a minute, and it did. I'll just drift this cue ball straight up table there for the six ball. Yeah, Robert, we had some good players in this tournament today. You know, we had... Uh, you know, we had five known pro, no, known professional pool players in this, and uh, you know, and even the A and double A players have played in this. You know, there's some good players. I mean, Gabe Owens, uh, uh, Gabe Owens had some real close matches with the uh, A or double A player, and um, so did Hennessy and. Yeah, it's a couple of heel thrillers. And Devin's going to close this rack out to take the lead back. That's the uh, third, first, second. This is the fourth time the lead has changed in this match by a game or two. It's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, it's a good competitive match. Uh, Jen, this is the uh, semifinals. Uh, winner of this would play Justin Bergman. Uh, this is a race to nine because it is the one lost side. It was a race to 11 in the winner's side. Um, it's my understanding, I think, though, if Devin uh, would happen to win, there may be a deal with him and Justin. Uh, I'm not sure. I've, I've kind of heard that. Where they'll probably be packing up and going home and uh, maybe if Gabe wins, uh, there'll be another match.
Boy, that five ball hopped in the pocket. And he's got a really good angle one to one ball to just to come down and boot that nine ball over towards the corner pocket and have the three ball in the same pocket he shoots the one ball in. There's a good chance he's going to move the nine towards that pocket, I would say. He just wanted to make sure for sure he moved it so he could get on that three ball. Uh, he ain't gonna do nothing fancy here. Just gonna take the long shot, four ball up in the corner, and uh, you know he'll roll that up a little bit, shoot the six, and uh, I'd say he's uh, probably pretty much out for there once he makes the four ball. I'll just shoot this, bounce off the rail, back of the middle table for the six. Hey, Ronnie and Ryan, how you guys doing? Couple of my buddies back from uh, Indiana over there. Ronnie actually lives in Alney, Illinois, but he uh, he plays on an APA team with me, and he uh, hangs out in Evansville with us, works at Toyota, so he spends a lot of his time in Indiana. I'm surprised Justin's still awake, uh, but as we all know, Justin's not a huge talker. to wrap this up uh, Devin makes this he'll take a two game lead be the second time uh, there's been a two game lead our third time the game started out 2-0 then uh, Devin goes up 4-2 to two. then a little game back and forth for a minute or two and now we're at 7-5 the lead is switched five times and by two three times Uh, Justin, the prize pool first place total money is uh, around close to four thousand thirty. I don't know, close to four thousand. Second place is twenty three hundred, and third's around sixteen fifty. It looks like, or fifteen fifty. Yeah, Justin's opinions uh, definitely valuable. You know, he's got a lot of knowledge to share, and he's. It's nice to hear a uh, perspective of someone of his level of what he feels should go on in the game. He was swinging at them two balls and just making sure that one ball came back up here in the middle table somewhere because he knew where his cue ball was going to go. Uh, Justin, it was a $200 buy-in uh, with 500 added. And uh, Devin opts for a safety shot here. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if he totally got him. But at a minimum, he could come off the rail. He's asked Justin to come over and watch a hit.
Well, I think they just, no, oh, he called a foul, but he was joking. I'm, they're thinking, what's going on here? But, um, so I uh, put Devin in the trees here. Devin's got, uh, boy, no option but uh, a kick shot. Hey, uh, Justin, we appreciate that. Boy, it's a pretty tough uh, shot to control what's going to happen when you're using spin. Boy, uh, boy, he hit it pretty darn good. I mean, I think Gabe can see a sliver of that ball, but I don't think he likes uh, where the cue ball is going afterwards. I mean, if he could do a masse shot and catch the uh, our right side of the one ball, the cue ball would naturally spin back down table. It's like he's going to opt for a jump stick instead. <laughs> Pretty impressed. It's uh, f five after four in the morning, and uh, we've got a uh, hundred and twenty plus viewers. Well, he managed to get a hit, but uh, it looks about like a sellout shot. I, I don't see any reason that uh, Devin don't get out here. Yeah, Don, I know you wouldn't miss it for anything, you know, your your home area. And I know not no more. I understood you was up in Montpelier, I think I heard you say. It's uh, a little bit of ways. Uh, Justin, this is in uh, Benton, Illinois, a uh, small town in the southern portion of Illinois, just off Interstate 57. Just a couple hours from St. Louis, so. Boy, I don't know if he got away with that or not. Yeah, I'm sure we had some people that uh, went to bed last night and are waking up now thinking this thing's still going on. <laughs> And who's this dumbass still on the microphone? Okay. Yeah, they've slowed their game. These guys normally play at pretty good speed, but you know they're in the semifinals here. They're uh, big difference in the money from uh, second to third, so uh, they ain't taking many chances. Wow. Well, great shot. I mean, he's got a long cut on the seven. Um, but the good thing for him where the eight ball's at, all he's got to do is roll this ball in, and he has a leave on the eight. I'm definitely blaming this shit on Henny. <laughs> That's a big tester here, but like I said, just got to make it. That's a tough shot, you know. Even if you're not thinking about English or leave, that was tough. 
You're on the rail, back cutting. Uh, looks like a quick bathroom break for the guys. <laughs> Justin found him a bench. He's over here laying down on. Well, nobody yet. Uh, Josh Franklin did real well. Um, he lost his first match, and then he grinded all the way back through to 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Ended up losing to Jonathan Penninger, 9-7, to seven. Um, or Hennessy. He had him down 7-2, um, to two. and uh, then uh, John ended up running 4 or 5 on him. And uh, gets right back in it with him. Uh, we got four tables uh, here at this place, Justin. <clears throat> Well, I think that um, Gabe tried to play that a two-way, get behind the eight ball and make it, but the seven ball came out and let uh, Devin see it. So, I mean, definitely no easy shot, but. So he missed that shot and uh, got away with it. Well, he's playing like he can see it, and he can. Gonna be enough to put uh, put Gabe within one here. Uh oh, he may not like this. He's definitely on the 50 yard line. I mean, I'm sure he's happy that he's shooting instead of his opponent, but. It's a good. And we are with him one from the lead.
thought he made a ball or two, but I don't. I don't think he can see or make the one ball, but I, 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 he might be able to see enough to make it. Uh, Robert, uh, we'll eventually, uh, we record these as well, stream them, and we'll, we'll upload them to our YouTube site. Yeah, he had enough where he could see it. Uh, Russell, this is for uh, second and third right here. Justin's waiting in the wings. Well, at least you got three hours of sleep. I'm still going. Gabe's most likely going to tie this match up again. And very well could see another lead change for the sixth time in a race to nine. Rattled that ball trying to get leave on the eight. Yeah, I figured he could see that game. That was a uh, that was big. Who's the? Uh, are you talk? You talking about Hennessy Rogers? If you are, uh, he lost to um, Gabe O and nine to four. Gabe breaking or uh, Devin breaking on the hill for a chance to uh, wrap this uh, set up. As this is a race to nine, because this is the one lost side. Boy, Devin couldn't get out of his seat quick enough. And a big and a big break with no shot on the one ball. But a good opportunity for a safety. As long as he can get him locked up on that five. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. The eight ball in the side would have been logical. He could have uh he just had to roll it up that way, but he shot that ball with inside so he can get to that rail and get the cue ball back out for the eight. Made him miss it. Yeah, I agree, Rusty. I look forward to Christmas dinner. <clears throat> well, uh, Jason, that's true, too. <laughs> I don't think he'll take any chances. He's just going to bank us out the, down the other end and put a cue ball behind the eight or behind the seven. Well, I guess I'm wrong. He took a chance, and uh, I think he was trying to get the cue ball hidden, but...
kind of shot that kind of fast, I felt like. You know, these guys don't make me mistakes like that seven ball he missed, and uh, you really got to capitalize on that. And, uh, Gabe says, uh, where are you going, white ball? Well, that just changes position and everything on this five ball. I mean, I think he's supposed to make this four ball, but now if you're trying to get a leave, that four ball gets a whole lot tougher. Now, there's too much traffic to really put high in it and try to go down and back out, but I mean, I figure he just may roll it in and take what he's got on the five ball. Uh, that's what he did, but he still hit it kind of firm. I think uh, this shot here could determine uh, this particular game. Yeah, and uh, it just took a big swing for Devin. Say, so, yeah, I figure here's we'll play the short side of the six. And <coughs> came out a little farther than he wanted, but. See, it's a little tricky getting a seven ball because he he really wants an angle where he can just roll straight up forward for the eight ball. Oh, he's able to get across the table. He had enough angle to move over. And yeah, Jessica Gabe could definitely be getting tired. These guys been going since about one o'clock today, and Gabe's been went back to his room once or twice, and I think I got he got a little rest, but. Of course, uh, Gabe's going to make him shoot this last nine ball. That's it. 